Hi everyone, welcome to a new doll video. This one is part one of making doll shoes. And this for this one we'll be doing the outer sole. Uh, the problem I'm having with the, the dolls that I rehab is that uh, I tend to make them, you know, kind of elegant or like fairies or whatever, but they come with shoes like this if they're monster high, uh, which is great if you're Dracula's daughter, you know, going to high school, but not so much for my creations. So I've resorted to having to make my own doll shoes to match my outfits, and uh, this is an example of the pair that I made to go with this particular doll. And I'll show you in this video um, how to start making a similar pair. Um, the thing with Monster High dolls is they're all, they don't all have the same shoe size. Some of them are exactly the same and some of them are smaller. So you have to know how to size your shoes. And this video can be used for any type of doll. It doesn't have to be Monster High. It can be any type of doll, any size. Here's an example. Um, the purple doll, you can see her foot is much smaller than the Dracula doll. So, um, in case you're going to make a lot of dolls of the same size, I'm going to give you an idea of how to do that too. Uh, this is a shoe I made, and just as an example, what we're going to be working on is the outer sole. It's uh, less flexible, uh, it retains the shape of the shoe. Uh, the inner sole, which you see here, is covered with fabric and is more flexible. Those two are fused together at some point in the process and then you have the upper attached or the uh, upper side of it attached to it and I'll show you that in video three. In video two will be about the inner sole. So um, different ways to do this. Um, there's lots of different ways. This is uh, using just a polymer, a thin layer of polymer clay that you roll out and uh, shape to the foot of the doll. And uh, the thing with the polymer clay is it's pretty soft, so if you try to bake it without a form to it, uh, it's going to lose its shape. And you really have to have this arch of the foot perfect for the shoe to fit. So I used uh, about eight layers of aluminum foil that I pressed together, uh, making sure that the top edge of it is at the edge of the heel so you know where to place your, your polymer clay on it. Uh, make sure that the clay is positioned properly with the right curve and then you can bake it and get a nice sole but it doesn't have a heel you, and I'll show you how to put a heel on that later. Now the other thing is if you're going to make a lot of the same uh, doll shoe you can mold it so uh, what I did is I found a Monster High doll shoe that I I didn't completely hate and <laughs> and I took the top of it off with um, just cut it right off with an X-Acto knife. And I got a nice bottom uh, form out of that. Now this particular shoe also had a pretty high platform on the toe part and I cut that off because I wanted just a, a plain plat uh, blank for this mold. Uh, and as I said, you know, all the, sh all the Monster Highs are not the same, so this was a shoe for the smaller doll. I didn't like the heel at all on this one. So I just decided to cut off the heel and the upper and, and get a nice blank sole that I can put a heel to if I want to. So you can see there how I cut that off and um, just cut the heel off and it's a nice rigid form to make a mold out of. Okay, now how to make the mold. I use Easy Mold. It's a great product as far as I'm concerned. You can withstand the heat of cooking your polymer clay and uh, it works fairly easy. Um, it comes in these two part containers and they're fairly expensive. Uh, it's 21 bucks at Michael's so save up those 50% off coupons before you go buy this. And all you need to do is cut equal portions of each of these containers and I use just a pie shape so I can visually see uh, it. Now these these uh, separate pieces are very sticky and soft, so they're a little hard to, to cut precisely, but you don't have to be exactly identical in the portions as long as you can eyeball them pretty well. So cut that one out, and then cut an equal or fairly equal portion of this purple section out. Same way, just cut a, a wedge or pie shape that 
you can visually tell is about the same as the other one. And once you get them out, about the easiest way to to view them equally is to, to get them in a somewhat round shape. So kind of squish them together a little bit and get them a little bit round. And the purple, to me, in this one looks a little tiny bit bigger, so I took off a pinch of that. Now, when they're separate like this, you can play with them all, all day, but once you start mixing them, you have three minutes to make your mold. So you want to be prepared with all your equipment. So I'm just sticking that um, old shoe that I cut off into the mold, making sure I've got the mold pressed around it very well because it's, you know, with the heel, it's a little tiny part, so you want to make sure you get that down. Now the other part is that you want to um, make sure that the surface is kind of flat against what you're molding because you may want to trim some once you start trying to put the polymer clay in. Um, so I use an orange stick or you can use any kind of round object once you get the mold pretty much where you want it. And this makes it fairly even so you can um, cut across the top if you need to when you're putting the clay in. And making sure that that toe, which sort of sticks up a little bit doesn't get pressed down. So once you get that made, uh, like I said, you have three minutes to play with it and get it right, and then it takes 25 minutes to completely form, which is not very long. Uh, this is a piece that I'd already mixed up, and I'm going to place that plain flat in here. Same process, just making sure that you get that arch, that curve in the arch, and that the sides are pretty well flat. Now it's a little bit easier. Um, and there we go. So we're going to let those rest for 25 minutes and then pop them out. While we're doing that, I'm going to show you very briefly uh, a part that will be explained in more detail in film two about the inner sole. But I just want to show you this because it is kind of part of what we're doing. You're going to trace out the foot and then you're going to cut it out, have a little pattern fold it in half, make sure you've got it symmetrical because we're making a one size shoe fits both feet. Uh, for your inner sole, you're going to trace this out, cut it out. I cut out three pieces out of uh, just a postcard type stock, glue them together with E6000. And I label my pattern just so I know which doll that goes to. And then you form it to the bottom of the foot uh, as the as the glue's drying, and you got your inner sole. Okay, so now our forms are dry, and we're ready to pop them out. All right, so there's our healed, and there's the, the flat. So we have our mold. I'm going to use some Primo Sculpey clay that I've conditioned really well, and I'm going to make a little uh, small piece to stick down in that heel first, and then just start pressing it into the mold. And you can trim off the top part. That's what makes it important to have the sides fairly flat. Um, just keep pressing it in to make sure you've got a good, solid piece into the mull. And then we're going to do this, this flat piece over here in the smaller shoe. And again, keep pressing it. You can also use the doll's foot uh, once you get it pretty much finished here to press down into it and sort of give it the indentation of the bottom of the foot, which is kind of nice, makes the shoe fit better. Um, not showing that, but you can do it. All right, these are baked at um, 245 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, and they pretty much pop right out. Any irregularities around the edges or, or wherever, you can just trim right off with the exacto. Um, you can also even sand it. Now this shoe turned out just a little big at the heel, but like I said, you can even cut it with scissors or trim it with the exact toe. Now here's our high-heeled version. That turned out really well. Um, there are a few little uneven places, but as I said, they can be cut with the exact toe, and it looks like we've got a really great fit. Both the width is good and the length. So there we have our heel, our flat, and let's not forget the piece that we baked on the aluminum foil mold and that's 
few ways to make a sole out of polymer clay. There's, like I said, lots of different ways to, to make shoes. This is just one way. And with our inner sole, you can then go, uh, you know, take that and press it into the, the shoe and trim any parts of that that you need to trim. And we'll go into that in, in uh, video two. Now, the other part of this is to put a heel on a, a flat uh, sole that we've made. And to do that, what I've done is to use a, a wooden dowel, a small one, and cover it with a thin coat of polymer clay. And I baked that, making sure that it was a little longer than what I thought I needed because we're going to trim it. You can just mold it out of clay and do it, you know, and, and make a heel or I'm sure you can make heels out of any anything. This is just one way to do it. As you can see, the heel can't be flat across the top. It's going to have to be angled to go with the bottom of the shoe so that it'll fit right. So I'm going to cut this off at an angle at the length that I think I need. And there you can see the inside that shows the wooden dowel with the thin layer of clay around it. And there's the angle that I cut it at. Okay. And just want to try it again to make sure it's right and it looks pretty good. Yep. So what we'll do now is put a little dab of my favorite glue E6000 on the heel. I like this glue because it dries pretty fast and it's waterproof and it dries clear and a little bit firm. So get your angle right. Stick that heel on there. And you may need to hold it for a few seconds to make sure that it it stays. And then sort of set it upright so the heel is pointed up. And, and then the heel won't fall off if you, as you let it dry. So that's the same heel that I used on these pair of shoes. And that's the first step in the process. And I uh, thank you for listening. This was part one of my doll shoes video, the outer sole. Part two will be the inner sole. If you like this video, please like it and share. And if you subscribe to my channel, you won't miss a single video. Thanks for listening. Bye.